An unpretentious wartime inauguration in Washington. Secretary of War Stimson and Mrs. Stimson. Chief of Staff General Marshall and Mrs. Marshall. And the Commander of the Navy, Admiral King, attending the ceremony, as does Secretary of State Statinius. Government officials mostly, but also wounded veterans of war. They are the guests of honor. Supreme Court Justice Stone administering the oath, after which the President delivers his inaugural address. We Americans of today, together with our allies, are passing through a period of supreme test. It is a test of our courage, of our resolve, of our wisdom, of our essential democracy. If we meet that test successfully and honorably, we shall perform a service of historic importance, of historic importance which men and women and children will honor throughout all time. In the days and the years that are to come, we shall work for a just and honorable peace, a durable peace, as today we work and fight for a total victory in war. We can and we will achieve such a peace. And so today, in this year of war, 1945, we have learned lessons at a fearful cost, and we shall profit by them. We have learned that we cannot live alone, at peace, that our own well-being is dependent on the well-being of other nations far away. The Almighty God has blessed our land in many ways. He has given our people stout hearts and strong arms with which to strike mighty blows for freedom and truth. He has given to our country a faith which has become the hope of all peoples in an anguished world.